Gold Coast Trades College has been going for about 14 years. PPS College, privately owned by Shana and uh, the director of the college, uh, her and I got together about um, launching Gold Coast Trades College. I felt that employers were losing their apprentices for too long and getting trained in things that they were actually learning on the job. So we've decided to engage with our employers and find out what sort of training it is that they need, what sort of training their students need, and we deliver that. We've always been a tailor-made company. We've got uh, some carpentry on display today. The, the guys are cutting some timber framing, they're making some wall frames, they're using nailing guns. So we try and base our practical experience around as much of real life building as we possibly can. So we've got a bracing here, and we've we just got a piece of ply. We had Brett, we had Brett cut this. It's for us because we're just, oh, oh I'm useless at it, so. <laughs> I knew I wanted to be a carpenter at the age of 14. Um, yeah, I just found a love for it and, and to try and install that into the kids that we have today is, is yeah, a bit, 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 bit amazing actually, yeah. We've had our bricklayers actually build a raised garden bed. That will also get rendered on the outside, it will get painted. They've actually filled it with soil today. They've put some subsoil drainage systems in. We've got uh, an engineering display on today, which is 3D printers uh, learning about different types of mechanical engineering. Uh, it's quite an in-depth program. We've got that uh, kicking off uh, first term next year. So we've just we've brought that in today to really gauge some interest amongst the students. We've got a landscaping display. It's more about horticulture, and let's face it, with the Com Games coming up and some large projects being, you know, kicked off on the Gold Coast, the Coomera Town Centre, all of those projects need a huge amount of streetscaping, landscaping, so the calling in that industry is really large. So this is Bus Q superannuation. So we do superannuation for the trades. What we like to do is go out on site and cook snags for the tradies that are out on site. And we like to come along to these days for students who haven't yet entered the workforce and tell them about superannuation and how we can look after them when they do get jobs. Great, beautiful. And my, my main attraction is not my good looks, which is hard to believe. <laughs> it's, it's the snags. <laughs> Very good. Um, so one in construction, I think it's because they get to try all the different trades. Yeah. So they can try a bit of bricklaying, they can try some tiling, some painting. And then when they get to their work experience, they can try the different trades. So then they can rule out what they don't like and then focus on the one they do like to look for an apprenticeship. I was looking at uh, carpentry more, but also leaning towards electrician. I want to be a construction worker or a cabinet maker because not many girls are into it, so why not? So uh, to date, we've had some great success. You know, we have apprentices coming in on rainy days at short notice, you know, employers going away on holidays for a week, we grab their apprentice, do as much as we possibly can of their in college time, and we do as much as we possibly can out on site.